Okay, here's a quick tutorial I'm going to do on the a wild mouse coaster. Uh, so this one here, you can have up to eight trains. As you can see, when you first start, all the trains are at the station. We'll let a couple of them go. The next one won't leave until it's left the track chain left. And then I've got a series of blocks. There's a block. Here's the next block. And then this train won't leave unless the next block is clear. So this car has stopped because I've done it so there's one big section and it will not leave start until this train has left the block so this coaster is not going to work with this many cars because all the trains will be stopped all the time so let's lower how many trains we've got to we've got eight sections so let's go six Six is probably a bit too many, but we'll see how we go. I'll fast forward it through. Okay, we've stopped for a thunderstorm. I'm sure it won't take long. Uh, anyway, there is one block section here that I've put as just a normal break to show you what will happen if it is too long between this block here and then this block here. Anyway, cars are going through the tracks nicely. Now that car has stopped there because this car has not gone through the block yet. So we need that section is too long between blocks. So if we change this to our block break. We'll probably trim it to 20 just to keep it moving. We will not have that issue anymore. And the cars should not stop. So let's focus on the second car here. I've just had a big fail here. I've had my right crash because I did not install the block section. Alright, so let's try that again. First car goes. Second car will not go until the first one is off the hill lift. Then the third car will go once the second car is off the hill lift. So at any one time there's two block sections between the cars. And then this allows some multiple cars on the track at any one time. You just have to make sure that where you have the block sections of track, that you need to have downhill down to the next section of track without, in case the cars have to all stop in the event of a storm or say 
and then the cars all bank up behind here. This section has to be downhill to so that section. There's a block break there and a block break there. We could probably change the one before the station into a block break so that the car can wait. Therefore, so if this is what happens if if I change the minimum waiting time, all the cars stop one after the other, one block behind each other, and when we get it going again, each block is uphill to the previous one. So laws of gravity, it all works. We don't have any rollbacks or cars getting stuck. It takes a while for it to all get going again. Now let's change this coaster. So we have a couple of block sections before the station. So what we'll do is... have two stations and an extra box section before. So now I've created two more block sections as you can see here and we can now add up to 11 trains. So people will hop on the ride on one end and then it will not take that long for the next car to be loaded because all it has to be, do is move forward. So it will be ready to go. Also it helps to play with the maximum waiting time. Probably the maximum waiting time we want for this ride is probably 10 seconds. So it goes as soon as the next car will go as soon as it leaves the hill lift. And this maximizes the capacity. So as soon as that car leaves the station, the next one is at it, ready to load the guest. This ensures that the, the car that's waiting at the station can leave as soon as the other car has passed the chain lift. And there will be a car waiting at the block section in front of the um, unload platform when that one moves out. Uh, this is probably acceptable. Stopping, just waiting in to enter the station. However, we could probably do with one less car to make the ride run more efficiently. So instead of having five cars on this ride, we'll probably change it down to six just so we don't have that car waiting. So I've restarted the ride. These cars are waiting back behind the blocks, all in a row, ready to go. This would, um, hopefully this answers most of your questions. So this is the technique of having many blocks and then having the spacing in between the cars to have all running. Since this is the only ride in this small park, it's running quite smoothly.